What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here finally talking about some set active. <laughs> You guys have requested this brand to be reviewed on the channel for quite some time now. Finally decided to take the plunge. So if you're a Set Active fan, let me know if you'd like me to review more of their collections. But if you're new to Set Active like me, here's a little brand overview. So just heading to their site now, we got a category for active wear. Basics, sweats, lounge, even outerwear. So it doesn't look like they're solely active wear like a lot of brands that we review here. They have three different active wear collections. We're looking at the Lux form, the Sculpt Flex, and the one that I have today, the, what the fuck? The Sport Body. Those three activewear collections, Sculpt Flex, Lux Form, and Sport Body, are very similar in terms of design. This brand is super minimal. They have a minimal logo. There's barely any patterns to be found. I don't think there's a single pattern I saw on their entire website. I got straight up aloe yoga vibes. I grabbed the Sport Body Remix Scoop Bra for $65. And the Sport Body 7 8 Leggings for $78. So clearly they're pretty expensive. So here I am today with just one set. We're starting with a sport body. When it comes to trying new brands, I like to take baby bites. I don't wanna go all in, all right? Drain my bank account, something I've never tried before. The reason I went with sport body is because they claim to be breathable, high compression. They give a smoothing effect. It's designed to move with your body. Who doesn't like that? Wicks away moisture, keeps you cool throughout your entire workout. And it's best for medium to high impact workouts like spin, hit, and so much more. I figured, okay, I'm gonna try this set because I have a feeling this is gonna be super gym friendly. So that's actually what I did. I tested this set not only at home doing home workouts, but I also brought it to the gym and actually worked out with weights and things like that. We're about to get into it right now. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. We post videos every single week on all of our favorite activewear brands and we're always open for requests. For example, this video, this was a highly requested one. So feel free to comment down below a brand you would like to see next. So I have the color Lollipop. I decided to go with Lollipop, one of their newer colors, because this is where I am mentally right now. I hate January so much. Looking at this set, I'm happy, but not when I put it on, here's why. So you know how on the website, it claims that there's high compression? No, I got none of that. None of that in this set, not the bra, not the bottoms. Now keep in mind, these are both in my true size small. I really could have gotten away with sizing down. I believe in both, especially the top. Now let's start with the sports bra, shall we? Also, I will have these pieces linked individually down below for you in case you wanted to take a closer look. We're looking at a lot of coverage going on in the front. Apparently this is one of their OG sports bras. It's a fan favorite. They added a little bit of length. I dig the length. I can get behind that long line look. A few unsettling things about the bra, I noticed when putting it on right around here, you could probably even see it just me holding it up, right around the neckline area going up towards the straps, it looks a little crimped. This thick band going on up here just didn't sit right on my skin. It wasn't a flat lay, it looked a little all over the place. I do have to say, very comfortable lay in terms of the straps. There's no dig whatsoever, no circulation getting cut off. They actually call these thin straps, but they're pretty thick. So overall, you have a slight scoop neckline. It looks cute. It's almost like a little cropped cami look. Now moving on to the back, you have a lower scoop. Again, no digging on the back either. I can tell this is gonna be great for all day wear. Now here's where my real big problem was. No bra pads. Not even an option to insert your own. 65, $65. That's not cool because it's not a high support sports bra. <laughs> Y'all are claiming you could do hit in this. Absolutely not. I mean, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I got the tiniest ta-tas and I felt unsafe in this. <laughs> I can't even imagine if you're more than a B. When I wore this to the gym, I did some bent over rows right here, just started to fold in like a, a freaking burrito and you could see down my bra. I also noticed that every time I moved, the back of the sports bra was extremely wrinkly. You know, all day I could size down in this, seriously. They're calling the bottom of this bra an elastic band. I wouldn't really give it that. There's no actual elastic band here. It's just double over material sewn together. It's thicker than the rest of it, but not an actual elastic band. Even so, it doesn't really do anything when there's some length to the bra. So right here where the girls lay, it still hangs. So there's still no support 
right under the bust where you want it. I even noticed when really doing some upper body at the gym, I worked with some cables. I felt like these straps were slowly just slipping off my shoulders. I think it's just the wide neckline and the way that the straps curve outward naturally makes it just feel like it's about to slip off. And I did have them adjusted. I did tighten them so it wasn't that. I don't really understand the whole high support thing. And I'm just saying that because I don't want it to be false advertisement to anybody. So overall thoughts, would I wear this bra to the gym again? No. Do I think it's a flattering lay? No. Do I think it's worth $65? No. And not to mention that the logo on the front, it's this light gray color, is printed on. It's not even embroidered, so I feel like when it comes to the quality for $65, I feel like I would have liked to see a little bit more. But to talk some positives, this is a bra I can see myself wearing all day long. Being comfortable all day, doing home workouts, yoga, low impact. Comment down below if you know of any specific set active sports bras that have built-in pads, support, and things like that, please let me know so next time I know what to get. Because don't get a twist, I know I'm only trying the one set from set. <laughs> so I know that this won't be a proper representation of the brand as a whole, which is why I'm very eager to try more sets from them. So moving on to the leggings, we're looking at high-waisted. I grabbed seven eighths because I'm five foot three, which was ironic because it still was a little lengthy on me. Low, low, low support. I can see all of my cellulite. There's nothing hugging my glutes, my legs. As I was walking in the gym, I was looking in the mirror and really, I could see the jiggle. I can see every nook and cranny down there. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. That was my biggest dislike with this legging is the amount of cellulite that shone through. Now don't get it twisted, I say this all the time. Completely normal to have cellulite. But I also don't want a legging that's gonna emphasize that, especially for an almost $80 legging. Some pros to this legging, here we go. I really like the high waist. I think it comes up to a really beautiful length. I like that there's absolutely no seam right up top on the band, so there's no dig. You take the leggings off, there's no creases going on in the midsection. This legging is so, so comfortable. I mean it. Like it is a 10 out of 10 in the comfort department for me. And that's saying something. If I'm going traveling, which I do see them advertising their brand in that light as well. I'm seeing a lot of girls with luggage and things like that. I feel like this would be the absolute most comfortable set to travel in. In terms of the seam placement. So we have two seams, one on both sides of the band, right? No front seam, the backing. So you do have a seam to break up the glutes, the straight across seam on the back of the band. That I can do without a little bit of curvature goes a long way back there. It really does. So I would have liked to see a little bit of that, especially if I'm planning to work out in it or even do yoga, go to a yoga class. I'd like a little bit of a contour. The T seam is just a little bit unflattering in my opinion. I am so over that look. <laughs> just like the front seam, I'm over that. Okay, aloe yoga, I'm talking to you. I'm also over the freaking T seam too. Now in terms of sheerness, wow. I tested them at the gym and here with all these bright lights. I would give it at least a 90%. I performed a sweat test on the leggings. I barely saw any sweat and it dried in no time. They were right. It is very breathable and very sweat wicking. And I'm sure you could already tell from the footage, but in case you were wondering, the stretch, it's insane. There's no tummy control. The band is so low support. Now that can be good for a lot of things like yoga. Who wants a band to be digging in when you're trying to get into downward dog? Even though this material is very breathable, very stretchy, very almost slippery feeling, but buttery soft, I don't feel a ton of slip when squatting. This is why I feel like this would be really just extra special to wear to yoga class. Based off their website, they say if you're in between sizes, to size up. I'm actually gonna go ahead and say the opposite. If you're in between sizes, I would absolutely size down. I don't mean to be a contrarian, I don't. I mean, I'm not lying here, you guys saw the stretch. You saw the lack of support. You saw my cellulite. The footage doesn't lie. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and say, if we have similar measurements, which you can find in the description box below, then you could get away with sizing down, especially if you're in between. So my overall thoughts, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit shocked 
at how much of a different experience I had than what I was anticipating based off of what I read on the website. If you have tried them, please share your thoughts. Are you on the same page? Like, are we feeling and vibing the same way? Or do you have just a completely different experience? Which by all means is totally okay. Active wear fits everybody differently. Does not mean I'm not gonna try them again because there were some things that I admired about this set. I think the comfort being 10 out of 10, I mean, it's top tier in the comfort department. So there's definitely potential with this brand. I wanna check out some more of their sets. I wanna try out some new collections. I'm really eager to try their loungewear. So with that being said, drop a comment. What should I do, girl? Help me out. What direction should I go in next? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.